Okay, we're here again with our 1953 Alcourt Sunfish Zip. We just uh, epoxied in the backer plate that's going to be the uh, shelf that the plug rests on, the little repair plug that's going to fill this area on the deck. And so I mentioned in the earlier video, the little backer plate is right down here. It comes out underneath the hull about an inch or so. What we did is uh, mark it with some red uh, Sharpie. You can see a little bit of that so we know the alignment. Then we took it back out. And we buttered it up with some uh, Total Boat Thick Sew. And read it right there. It's a thickened epoxy adhesive. Comes in two parts in a tube, a resin and a hardener. And when you put it in your high thrust caulk gun, you squeeze it out through the mixing tip, it mixes up and it comes out uh, looking mighty fine. You didn't have to stand there measuring things in cups or trying to decide what kind of filler to add, those types of things. And that's, that's what it looks like when it comes out. So next we slid these backer plates inside the hull kind of held them in got them in position fingertip pressure and this uh, thick so is so thick and sticky that we could actually let go of the plate for a, a few good seconds and reach out and grab the clamps put the clamps in and start uh, clamping it now the piece will move a little bit as you're clamping so you got to make sure you maintain the alignment of those little red marks as it clamps and with uh, thickened epoxies, you just want to use a light clamping pressure enough so that you maybe see a little bit start to squeeze out of that joint. If you keep clamping uh, beyond that, then you're going to potentially squeeze all of the epoxy out of the joint and you'll have an epoxy starved joint on your hands that won't hold up very well. So there was uh, four pieces to this backer patch because there's a uh, some deck structure underneath or some hull structure. There's a stringer runs fore and aft and then there's a frame runs a thwart ship so had a piece up there another small piece there third piece here and the fourth piece uh, right there so we give a shout out to some of the folks we know our, uh, our all of our clamps have names on them for family and friends so uh, Skipper's uh, family uh, jumped in today to help out we have Jeff, Sue and Rick in there uh, skippers in there also the four siblings also a uh, special anniversary day for one of our kids and his wife they're in there and then uh, i'm uh, bringing up the rear here with the uh, with captain tp leathers also known as uh, push which is short for uh, push mitaha uh, the choctaw indians along the mississippi river in the 1870s, 1880s. I nicknamed him Captain Push after one of their great leaders, uh, Push Pataha, as a sign of respect. And he was a great friend to the uh, Choctaw. And uh, that's the origin of the name of the boat to the little skiff that we restored, Barbashila, is the Choctaw Indian word for friends. So we got all our friends and family helping out today. And uh, we're going to let this thick sew dry and the next thing we'll be doing we showed you the uh, tape pattern we used earlier we're going to cut out the little plug that's going to fit into all of this one of the things uh, we did as as we put the light clamping pressure on we started to see some of that epoxy squeeze out is we uh, took our gloved finger and tried to clean up as much of that squeeze out as we can that way it doesn't leave a little ridge down there that keeps the patch from hitting or fitting uh, properly now uh, one of the feet or one of the things about epoxy another thing it will do is uh, it will kind of wick into the uh, wood surfaces that you're using so you might see a little bit of a ridge and then when you come back and look at it later when it's dried that might be gone or you might even see a little bit of a gap because the wood does soak it up. If you've got a real critical joint, what you may want to do is treat that joint with just some straight 
epoxy first that's not thickened maybe a couple of coats of it let it soak in and dry and that way when you put the uh, thickened epoxy on it later uh, what you see is what you get pretty much in that case it's not really going to soak into uh, anything else some other things you could do uh, if you're worried about moisture intrusion inside you could coat that little backer piece with epoxy uh, before you install it uh, some folks do that uh, this boat though with the marine grade plywood it's uh, well ventilated and well drained so we're not uh, we're not too worried about moisture getting trapped in there so that's what we've been doing on zip this afternoon we're getting ready to go uh, cut out the plug for this and then by the time this is dried up tomorrow we'll be ready to uh, start shaping the plug to fit cleaning out any little blobs of the of the uh, thick so that we may have missed so we just uh, got that coming up and if you have any questions or suggestions uh, throw them in the comments below we'll we'll chat about it y'all take care